Hey there, it's Nathalie. I was at the Dollar Tree the other day. Oh, by the way, welcome to my channel. Anyway, they had some of these cute little lemon placemats and they had uh, only one butterfly. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I'll figure out something to do. So in this video, I want to show you how to do three of the little placemats and make this cute little lemon pattern tote. And it's super, super simple. Uh, most of the work's already done for you. Most of the heavy lifting, the cutting and everything. I'll just cut off the bottom of it, make a few pockets. It's got two pockets on the front and three on the back, or three on the front and two on the back, whichever is your preference. Anyway, don't go away. Uh, be sure you know that you like and subscribe and uh, share me and hit the bell so you can get a notification when I new, do a new video. And uh, also, I am working on a beginner's sewing classes. I have about five videos ready for that, and uh, I will be letting y'all know whenever that's ready. I'm excited about that. Anyway, stay tuned as we make this little uh, lemon tote. I know, I know, I know. When life gives you lemons or COVID, make a lemon tote or lemonade. Don't go away. These are three uh, placemats that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make a tote out of those. So I'm going to take the paper tag off, just rip that off. So we're going to make some pockets on here. Uh, on one of these, this is going to be straps. This is going to be tote. And let's see if there is a direction to this print. That one goes that way, that one that way, that one that way, that one's down. I don't think that there is a rhyme or reason to these that I can see. All right, so I want to measure six inches from the bottom. Now it doesn't have to be lemons. You can use, I found a really cute little butterfly, but I only found one of those. <laughs> it was just one. I'll keep looking. Anyway, so when I measure up six inches, make a little mark, I'm going to cut this six inches across. All right, line this, my corners up. I could pin, but I'm just going to hold it. So one's going to be the front and one's going to be the back. I'm going to turn this where this hemmed edge is up. This is going to be the top. Let me separate this. Pin this in place. <clears throat> I had thought about just folding the folding it up to make the pocket like that, but you can see through this too much and so I didn't want to do that. Plus I don't particularly care for the fabric that it's lined with for being on the surface. Alright so my cut edge and cut edge right sides up And then I think I just want, I think three pockets might make it a little small, or I might do three on one side and uh, two on the other. So let me show you really quick. I mean, you could just, you could measure this and calculate this. This is 12. So three pockets, that's going to be four inches. We'll just go ahead and do that. I was just going to show you about folding up your tape measure. That's a kind of a fast cheater way to do that. So 
So this will this will be my three pocket side. Go ahead and mark this at the bottom also. You like that raggedy end on my tape measure? It's kind of a well loved tape measure. You, you know, whenever you have your favorite things that you love to use, that's just the way that that is. Okay, this one I'm going to do it six inches. So I'll go ahead and uh, mark that halfway. So this side will have two pockets. That one will have three pockets. All right, so while might as well when we go to the sewing machine, we'll just you know get all of our, our things done at one time. So I want to go ahead and cut some straps. Uh, and I actually think that I don't want this on the back side. So I'm going to cut this away. the lining away and got rid of it. Two straps out of this. So fold that in half. And fold this in half and cut it in half again. This gives us two three inch wide pieces. So I want to fold it in half. And you can press this, or just this is stiff enough that you could probably just finger press it. And then we're going to turn under a half an inch on each edge. And that's going to give us a one inch strap. So about a half an inch under. There's my middle line right there. A half an inch in. You can measure this. I could scoot over there and hook up my iron. So I'm going to start off with stitching the little pockets. I'm going to start at the bottom and stitch up. I've got it set on about a medium stitch uh, length back stitch. And at the top, I'm going to back stitch like several times. Like that.
I'm going to start with my needle in place, and because this is going to be stitched onto my bag, I don't need to do back and forth on this. So I'm just going to go straight across because I will be catching that end again. Find the corner, pivot. straps in two and a half inches from both of the edges. Now I'm going to just this top edge, I'm just going to go straight across. Got a loop of thread going there. And when I get to my handle, I am going to do one back stitch and then again go straight. My other handle's already pinned in place. Just take this other piece and just put it right in line. Scooch that down just a tiny bit. So both handles are stitched in place. I pinned both sides together and I made sure that my little pockets kind of match up a little bit. And I'm not going to stitch right on this edge. I'm going to come in just a little bit. I could get right on that edge, but I think I'm going to come in just a little bit. Like uh, the presser foot width. Do a little back stitch at the first. Hand wheeled in. Back and forth. Go easy across all of those pocket areas because that is pretty thick right there. this pinned at one inch all the way around and I think what I'm going to do I could stitch it from the top side do I want to stitch that from the top side I'm going to stitch the edge of it first and then I'll come back and do a top stitching and I am going to stitch it from the top side and I'm going to start with this handle and it doesn't matter which handle you start with but I'm going to start with this one My pins are all on the bottom side, so I need to be careful with this.
back stitch on that handle. Give it a little extra support. Be careful going over those big old seams. Now to do a top stitch, and I know this is turned down one inch, so I don't think I want to go all the way. I think I'll come back to seven eighths or three quarters of an inch. I think I'll do three quarters of an inch, not about like that. And I'm looking at my my gauge right here. gets the top and the strap stitched in and now we'll do the bottom and then we'll put a little tuck in it to square the bottom. I think I'm going to do about a half an inch seam on this bottom, back stitch that. You can see I've got a little fullness here. I'm going to zigzag this bottom and so keep it from being all raggedy. So I'm going to set my stitch length to two, my width about five, my machine to zigzag. I'm going to give it a haircut. Give this a little square, flat bottom, well, not a square bottom, but a flat bottom. Uh, go into the corner, and you're going to match these two seams. I'll open that out a little bit. And so this seam and this seam, you're going to line those up. I'm going to put a pin in this, but I'm going to... I want it to be about an inch and a half and it, there's so much thickness right here so I'm gonna go an inch and a half from this corner and see if I'm about right let's see there's an inch and a half right there that's pretty good eyeballing I'm about an eighth of an inch maybe a sixteenth of an inch shy so I'll scoot that up just a tiny bit All right. 
Now then, I am going to go straight across. Do me a oh, three, two, one. Okay, three length, uh, zero, and a straight stitch, not a zigzag. Get that extra thread out of there. Back stitch. Come across, watch that fullness. Come across easy. And the same on the other side. So I've already measured this out an inch and a half. Make sure that my corner is straight. My uh, seams are matching, I mean. Back tack, back stitch. Then you can cut this off if you want to, or you can leave that in there. Let's see what it does if I leave it in. Poke out those corners. Pretty cute. These little pockets will go around the edge. Two pockets right there. Stands up straight if you need it to. Yep, I think that works. So we finished it. It's turned out pretty cute. So I just want to tell you, thank you for liking, subscribing, hanging around, watching the videos, sharing me with your friends. I love the comments. Love, love, love the comments. Helps me know what y'all want to see next. So, uh, again, thank you so much for subscribing and hanging out on my channel. See you next time. Bye.